Hello, hello, this is Sebastian Mayapasa from Tucson, Arizona, uh, United States, and you are in China, your life in healing, and this time we're going to talk about how to recognize um, sericide and the perfect copper systems and uh, how to make the difference between uh, clay very much. And this is a, a question coming from one of the subscribers. Thank you very much for the su subscriber, and uh, I hope um, this will help you uh, to make the difference and how... Uh, you will see in the rocks and in the field. So enjoy the video. Let's see the video. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you This is the first sample that we can see it as a rock type is a granite or the place more than black place as we can see it in some places, uh, you know, you can still see the original texture of the Plagioclase, the cleavage, and some other observation. We don't have any more ferromagnesians in the sample, which it means it really has been remobilized. So, but it's still the uh, the orthoclase is uh, fresh and uh, hard, and this is the mineralization of cacoparite, pyrite, and classic for the perfect copper systems. And in order to generate a sericide from the potassium aluminum silicate, you need to add two molecules of water, and the leftover will be quartz. How you do that? You need a pH, pH 2, so acid, and a temperature between uh, 350 to 450, and then you are starting to generate it, uh, the sericide. And if the temperature continues, uh, the sericide will uh, lose the um, Potassium, and then you will have a siliceous uh, aluminum with two molecules of water, which is going to be kaolinite. And uh, we we are going to see that in, in other examples that I'll show in in, in this case. And um, it's uh, very important to take a, a note that this is the source it's a potassium aluminum silicate k feldspar and uh, this is the second sample that uh, uh, we can see is a granite too the the, the rock type something uh, we want to show is this is a specific point this orthoclase in the center is white and uh if i put in focus and then uh, you'll see it the white stuff and you touch it and it's uh, going to be soft and uh, um, that set aside with a uh, fine grain quartz left over in a, a, and uh, that's the beginning of uh, the sericide alteration of the K feathers part. So as you can see in some other uh, areas it's still white but uh, this is one of the examples how uh, K feathers part altered to sericide. So I put it there and uh, but in other places you still see the, the original texture of uh, the orthoclase and the cleavage in this uh, next sample we can see uh, maybe 80 uh, 90 percent of the this uh, potassium aluminum silicate already altered to sericide and uh, some of uh, some of them uh, already altered to keodenite so once again uh, to the potassium aluminum silicate, you add two molecules of water and then you have the sericide. You take it out uh, and the potassium from the sericide, you have uh, um, the silicate aluminum with two molecules of water, which is kaolinite. And uh, this is a very nice example and no more ferromagnesium in this sample. And uh, yeah, I'll put it just there. And I'll show you an, uh, another uh, sample. So in this sample, I'll put it there. So in this sample, you can see it's uh, way more altered than the other ones. You can see it's uh, uh, almost everything is altered to sericide and sericide altered to kaolinite. And uh, but it's still in some places you still can see the remains of the original. Um, potassium aluminum silicate, the orthoclase texture, the cleavage, and you scratch and set aside and then kill the night. How do you make a difference be, uh, between them? The only way to do it, so one way, XRD, you know, uh, X-ray machine, and or uh, tensile sections. 
because you know it's very fine grain you cannot make a difference so let's change the lithology uh, now we are going to see the um, quartz monsonite with quartz ice and say so monsonite is equal to uh, orthoclase equal to plagioclase and something happened you you see all the orthoclase and all the plagioclase are added to say side and Chiolinate. So which one is which? The only way to do that is a, a XRD and an X-ray machine or the sections. So it's very interesting. So that uh, the, the previous one will be um, phyllic alteration, and this particular one will be argelic alteration. Depends on the percentage of clay and sericide. And uh, uh, this is for uh, samples making the, uh, the difference how we can see it. And now we are going to see uh, a special sample, a bonus sample, and this is uh, the sericide, if you can see the flex, uh, but not from the uh, uh, porphyry system. It's uh, from the epithermal or mesothermal system. This was a quartz vein, and you can see the hollow alteration of the sericide and uh, at the edges, right? And uh, so, um, so that is uh, one of the uh, ways that we can see the sericide, you know, uh, in in the veins, you know, quartz veins with a uh, sericide hollow alteration. But once again, this is part of the epithermal or mesothermal systems. Uh, it's not uh, uh, in the porphyry system, in the center part, it's the highest part of the porphyry system. So very nice example, I love, I like it though. So I hope you enjoy it and thank you, thank you, thank you very much and subscribe and uh, and thank you to the subscribers for, for this uh, question. Thank you. Thank